Hey everyone, Justin here. On this video, I'm going to talk about changes to CMDB Workspace that came in San Diego. Now, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't going to do a video on CMD Workspace because when I went in and looked, it looked like there was feature parity between Rome and San Diego, and uh, I couldn't tell anything else besides the look and the feel, right? So the UI user interface itself had changed. And um, like a lot of the workspaces, they got migrated over. But uh, after spending some time in there, I did notice a couple of things. Now I'll clarify, I think what I'm going to show you is common to all workspaces, but uh, it gives me a chance to show you CMDB workspace and some things that I think will help a CMDB manager who's actually moving in and out of their day-to-day -day trying to do things. So let's get started. First I'll point out, and this is going to again apply to all workspaces, if you were just to search the filter navigator for CMDB workspace, it will still pop you out to a new tab. I was uh, working with a colleague and he was telling me like, hey, mine's still open a new tab. If you want them to open in the same tab that you're in, use this workspaces menu here. You can filter just like you would, uh, you know, the other filter menus. And so if you have too many of them, get to what you want. But I can hop over to CMDB workspace and it's gonna stay in my same browser tab. So that's feature uh, number one. Again, I think that's common to all workspaces. Feature number two, again, is going to be common to all of them, is going to be dark mode. So I kind of showed this in a different uh, video that I did, but if you if your admin has enabled dark mode, you can come in, change the theme to dark mode. And I'll have to admit, I don't like dark mode on most of them, the workspaces, but in the CMDB workspace, it actually looks kind of nice. So I'll just scroll down here. You can see the pretty graphs on the right. Uh, with relation to service mapping, my links on the bottom. This dark mode isn't so bad. I'm not complaining about this one. For the demo, I'm going to turn it off. That way, you know, you guys are able to see what I'm trying to point out to you. But uh, that's feature number two that's changed. Another thing that's changed, I'm going to go ahead and click on this server list here. So we're going to hop into a list of servers and maybe let's go look at some Windows servers. So we're going to actually see some data within the CMDB workspace. So something that's changed because we got migrated over to this new UI, look up here on the upper right for the list that we're looking at, right? So we're within a tab of configuration items and now I could have moved to the related application services, but what's new here is the settings icon. So you can come in and actually change the columns that show up in your list. So you can see I've got the selected columns and I could take something out, that's just by removing it. I have all the available columns for configuration items that I can go ahead and move over. So let's say we wanted, this is what I was actually doing earlier, I was looking for the own by field. So I can go ahead and move own by over and now that'll show up in my list of columns. I can reorder it, change where it is and stuff like that. I can also add, uh, I can dot walk within these now. So if I wanted to go to owned by and then I wanted to go to the building and then I wanted to go, I don't know why you want to do this, um, but location, that, now I can put the location. Uh, for the owned by um, dot walked column within my list of columns. So pretty cool there. That's a new feature. Again, I think it's a general workspace feature that you can actually do. Okay, another cool feature that I stumbled across is look at this. So pay attention to these two columns here and specifically pay attention to this thing that I'm grabbing onto. Uh, let me get that unhighlighted. So what I'm gonna point to is right here and if I hover over this field, see the six little dots? I can use that to drag the column to a new place, and now it's reordered the column. So I didn't have to go into my settings and change it like I was just showing you. I can actually do this right on the screen. I can move between, I move this maintenance schedule before the description, and now that'll move and it's reorder my column. So cool feature there. Another one that I noticed, if we go out to a list view here, we'll let a list of uh, servers pull up. And uh, when you're in these list views, there's this extra button for selecting everything within the list. So typically when you're looking at a list of data, you might have little check boxes over here on the left hand side and you can select something, edit it and do something with it. So if we go back to our list view here, it's still loading up the servers and now we've got our list of servers. So this is the checkbox I was talking about over here. And so what's new here is you can check everything. Maybe you want to do an edit and go change some things for those particular configuration items. But uh, what I've noticed is now, I can cancel out of that, 
that we have this little banner at the top saying 20 items are selected, do you want to select all 519? So that will go ahead and select all of them. What I haven't been able to do is get this edit button to work on all 519. I tried to have some smaller numbers, stuff like that. So new feature there, um, but haven't found some utility for it yet. Last thing I want to show on this home page, in addition to this kind of looking and feeling like the last version in Rome, um, one small change here, and this has to do with what I was just showing you, is this uh, list widget that's showing up on the home page. Same things I was just showing you, we can come in here on the widget itself and edit the columns, do our dot walking, change the order of them. Well, if I go into the settings, I can change the order of what, how that's showing. So maybe I want to see owned by first instead of the name. Now I've changed that widget just for me, and I'm able to see that. So that's the big changes I found so far in CMDB Workspace in San Diego. If you liked this video, please like or please subscribe, or even share it with somebody who you think might be interested. That's all for this video. We'll see you on the next one.